No! Now take your stinking money and get off my ship! It really wasn't our day. He was the fifth guy to reject us already. No one seemed to want to go to that island. Oh, hi there. Julia here. It's been two years since my dad strangely vanished into thin air while on a business trip. He just disappeared. But even when the authorities confirmed he'd passed away, I couldn't shake off the feeling that he was still alive somewhere out there. So I've still been looking for him ever since. In fact, just a few days ago, I found a clue. You see, I'm studying at the Archaeological Institute, where I happened to find an ancient map of some treasure hidden on a deserted island. Sounds wild, right? Well, it gets crazier. Right at the exact spot where the treasure was marked on the map was a symbol of a swallow, my dad's signature swallow, and his initials RC were written there too. Could it be? There was no time to waste. So that's how I ended up here in a fishing village close to that island with my best friend Lily. She's tagged along because she was so worried about me going alone, which was sweet of her. You see, there was a rumor among the locals that the island was cursed. Apparently, anyone who dared to venture there disappeared without a trace. That's why it's named the Lost Isle. But there was one ship that had returned from there intact, Captain Black Bills. On returning, he told the locals that surrounding the Lost Isle were reefs with super fast currents, so most ships ended up shipwrecked. The souls of those who died there were trapped years after years and became wicked spirits guarding the island from strangers. But fortunately for Black Bill, he happened to have a charm of the goddess Amphitrite to protect him from all the storms at sea. And it actually worked! Anyway, Lily and I decided he was the man for the job, so we went to the local pub to find him. Give me another rum and coke, will ya? He said between hiccups. The man was already drunk. I then asked him if he could take us to the island, but the barman chimed in. Oh, come on. Only fools dare to go near the Lost Isle. But isn't it safe to go with Black Bill? I heard he's protected by a goddess or something. That's right. Black Bill suddenly raised his voice. But the charm only works when you're out at sea. Stepping onto that island is another matter. Besides, the spirits guarding that island are terrifying. I'm not insane enough to go back there. So the answer is no! I wasn't about to give up, though. How much do you want? Fifty thousand and I'll take yous. He laughed. His words left us dumbfounded. Let's just go home. This was a waste of time. He's obviously trying to steal our money. Fifty grand? Where on earth could we find that amount of money? But I'm so close to my dad now. I can feel it. I can't give up halfway. Suddenly, I had an idea. Actually, we wanted to go to the island to find an ancient treasure that's worth way more than $50,000. If you take us, we'll split the treasure. What do you say? Ha! Huh. How do I know you're not bluffing? He said. So I showed him the map. It took him a few minutes, but eventually he shook my hand and the deal was set. Then he said we needed to set off as soon as possible. Otherwise, other people would try and beat us to the treasure. So early the next day, we boarded his ship, the Siren. And I'm not gonna lie, we were both pretty scared. The other sailors were quite rough and only one of them stood out as he smiled brightly at us. He then came over and offered to help carry our luggage. He was just so sweet compared to the others. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm Skylar, by the way. Oh, nothing. It's just, you don't really seem like you belong here. Well, I don't have much choice. My dad's the captain. They're related? But he seemed nothing like Black Bill. He could clearly see I was surprised as he said, Everyone reacts like that. It's true. I don't look much like him, do I? Ahem. I turned around, realizing Lily was just standing there waiting for us. She had a smirk on her face and wouldn't quit teasing me as Skylar led us to our room. Since when did you change your type to Sailor Boys? I just shook my head, laughing. I mean, he was cute. But that wasn't the point of the trip. We settled in, but that night I couldn't sleep at all. 
I decided to go up on deck for some stargazing. It was eerily quiet out there, but I suddenly heard a sound coming from the other side of the ship. I quickly went to see and found Skylar leaning on the rail. He's probably having trouble falling asleep too. So we ended up chatting all night and I told him why I had to get to the Lost Isle. He looked me in the eyes and said, I'm sure you'll find your dad. I know you can do it. He seemed so sincere and warm. It actually made my heart skip a beat. By noon the next day, we had reached the island, and it was just as terrifying as Black Bill had said it would be. Rows and rows of jagged rocks rising out of the sea, with the waves crashing so high, I thought we'd be shipwrecked in a second. The ship was shaking so violently, I really didn't think we'd make it. But we did. After almost colliding with the rocks a few times, we eventually made it through, and I've never been happier to see land before. However, there were still many challenges ahead. The first night on the island, I was curled up in my tent when a sound of footsteps coming from outside woke me up. I quickly unzipped it to see who was there, and that's when I saw a dark figure rushing off into the bushes. I was so scared, I screamed and woke everyone up. After checking, we realized all our bags and food that we'd left outside had been stolen. Perhaps the ghosts of this cursed island are trying to scare us away. I felt Lily shiver beside me while I tried my best to look unfazed. But Skylar suddenly spoke up. What would ghosts do with food anyway? It was obviously some man. Monkeys? Yes, it was obviously monkeys. Right, son? In fact, they'll probably come back. So we best keep our eyes peeled. For the rest of the night, we took turns guarding the tents. Then once the sun came up, we packed up our camp and continued on our journey across the jungle. Julia, are there really ghosts on this island? Ghosts aren't real, Lily. I started, but then I found myself screaming. My right leg dropped and suddenly I was falling into a hole. Luckily, Skylar was nearby and grabbed my arm just in time. I quickly looked down and saw there were dozens of sharpened wooden stakes at the bottom of the hole. What in the world? That wasn't the only trap, though. As we crossed the island, we all got stuck in a snare at some point. From net to rope leg traps, this cursed island has all the tricks up its sleeve. Luckily, no one got seriously injured, but it was still totally freaky. That night, I headed towards Skylar's tent to thank him for saving me, and as soon as he saw me, he pulled me into a hidden corner and said, There's something I need to tell you. I'm not Black Bill's real son. Skylar! Black Bill suddenly shouted from a distance, Come here! Right now! I'll talk to you later. Hide that compass, and don't tell anyone. Before I could even begin to understand what was going on, he'd left. Another shock hit me as I saw the swallow symbol alongside my dad's initials engraved onto the lid. Huh? How did he get this? Did Skylar know my dad? A billion questions flooded my mind, but by then, Skylar had already gone guarding the campsite with his dad. <sighs> the next morning, after basically no sleep, I decided I had to find Skylar and get some answers. As I was looking around for him, a group of strangers landed from the trees. They were like some sort of jungle people, with bushy hair and beards and wore raggedy clothing. They surrounded our camp and started threatening us. I was so scared, I couldn't move a muscle. Julia! Lily! Run! Skylar screamed, and I managed to snap out of it. I grabbed my bag in Lily's hand and ran after him in Black Bill. We eventually found a cave and took shelter there. It was hidden deep in the trees, and we prayed they wouldn't find us. We then only came out when we were sure they were gone. I asked if we should go find the rest of the crew, but Black Bill ignored my question and only had his mind on the treasure. Ugh! He was willing to leave his crew behind! What a cold-blooded man! And yet, I had no other choice but to continue the search. 
I couldn't risk being caught by those barbarians. I needed to find my dad. So I reluctantly pulled the map out, and we followed the directions. It led us to a stone temple in the middle of the island. One by one, we entered and went deep inside. Suddenly, Black Bill screamed. An arrow flew past him, just missing his cheek. Terrified, he turned pale, clutching his chest. Your treasure better be worth all of this, or else... We continued on and saw a door. That's it! The treasure is behind this! Black Bill ran forward, throwing himself against the door. His patience was definitely wearing thin. While he worked on getting the door open, I looked around for more clues about my dad. Suddenly, I turned around to see Black Bill falling on his knees. He'd managed to open the door, but inside was just a room full of dusty, chipped, cobweb-covered vases. You tricked me! I risked my life to come to this hole of an island for nothing! Black Bill then swooped over to grab me. I struggled to get away from him. He was squeezing my neck so tight, I couldn't breathe. I looked to Skylar, pleading for help, and he tried to calm Black Bill down. Oh, shut up! And you! Bring all your stuff over here, or this friend of yours will be in big trouble. Trembling, Lily did as he said, begging him to spare me, but he only gave her a threatening look while tightening his arms around my neck. He signaled for Skylar to come get his things. No! Let her go! Oh, little Sky, did you forget about your mummy and daddy? You don't want them to get hurt, do you? I've done enough for you. What were the two of them talking about? What was going on? My head was spinning, and with the suffocation, I gradually lost consciousness and passed out. When I woke up, I found myself on the siren, surrounded by Lily, Skylar, and... D Dad? Am I dreaming? Is it really you? My eyes blurred with tears. I rushed over and hugged my dad. Then I found out what had happened. As soon as I fainted, the horde of barbarians rushed in, captured Black Bill, and freed us all. Turned out, these people were all sailors, archaeologists, and explorers who had come to the island to look for treasure. When going through the reef, they were attacked by a group of pirates who robbed them of all their possessions and belongings, then they were mercilessly dumped empty-handed on the island. That crew of pirates was none other than Black Bill's crew. All those legend tales about the island, including the amphitrite charm, were made up by Black Bill himself, thinking he could cover up his crimes by preventing people from approaching the island. Wow, that man was a real monster. I knew something was fishy about him. But luckily, taking the chance of the pirates setting sail to the island, the group of victims conspired to capture them and free themselves from the deserted island. As for Skylar, poor Skylar, he had been through so much. He was actually one of the victims. Two years ago, he and his parents were also dumped on the island. Worrying that their young boy wouldn't survive, his parents begged Black Bill to let him be a part of the crew. Seeing that Skylar was strong and healthy, Black Bill agreed on one condition that if he ever betrayed him, his parents would be executed. Thanks to Skylar, the victims were able to survive to this day. Every time the boat came near the island, he would sneak food and necessities into a barrel and let it float to shore. Smart move. Oh, and that's not all. When Skylar was on the island, he had met my dad, and they even had a talk before Skylar was about to get on board to join the crew. Please, Promise me, if you manage to escape, try to find my daughter and give her this as a sign that I'm still alive and well live. I promise. I couldn't believe it. It was all thanks to Skylar that I'd found my dad. He smiled at both me and my dad and said, See, I never break a promise. Anyway, when the ship docked, the pirates were immediately arrested. As for the victims, 
they were finally reunited with their families. Now, a year has passed, and honestly, all this was still so surreal to me. My dad and I spent a large chunk of the past year setting up an organization to help the people who'd been stranded on the island reintegrate into society. Lily has actually been writing a book about our adventure. And as for me and Skylar, well, we're officially dating. Guess it wasn't such a cursed island after all, right? <laughs>